that you are nurtured in this land to receive this knowledge today. When you leave here today, your nationality is no longer nigga or African American. You are an Israelite. You are the true, my brother. Welcome home. Because we leaving out this place in righteousness. Yeah. We be on them highways. Tell them be cool, we on the byways. Bring out the word, they looking sideways. Oh, oh. I don't do this my way. I hold a six man. Demons rolling up, I'm about to fix that. Scoffer about to talk, I got the word for him. I ain't even know I even heard from him. Scripture's coming out, it ain't no word from him. Ah, uh, as soon as I pull out the laws, they run away. You was laughing, he gon' laugh at your collab. No more of the drugs. No more of the dope game. No more killing each other for nothing day and night. You so-called blacks and Hispanics, and Hispanics, you gonna reform your ways and worship and serve your God in spirit and in truth. Right. Brother, repent of your actions because right. I've learned many of sins when I was young. Right. Put down the Christmas. Right. Ain't no Black Lives Matter gonna work in America right. because they make the laws. Right. You gotta keep your God's laws. Right. A right. black man's laws. God is black right. and he made laws for you. Right. Right. So you gotta keep his ways, you understand? And that's the power that's gonna protect you. Right. We gotta stop looking at the hands of the so-called white man that was the devil we got to stop looking at him for salvation right. we got to stop looking at him to give us rights right. Right. read on let's get some more truth come on and they that sell them say bless be the lord they say god bless america read for i am rich for, look they rich while we poor free labor right. we should be somewhere 40 acres in a mule we should have 130 acres right. each living man but so-called black man right. should have an acre we should have Bugattis and cars. Why don't we? Because we were slaves. We have not yet reaped the benefits of the slavery that our forefathers served. All right? We don't look for search for money. But what we're trying to show you out of the spirit is the injustice that we as a people have been served as a nation. We got to come back to our understanding. We got to come back to true knowledge. You understand? Here we go. Read. Come on. Bless be the Lord, for I am rich. Bless be the Lord, for America has been rich off of our forefathers' backs, you understand? Right. Off our forefathers' deaths. That's why we influence our people and tell them, stop, stop smoking cigarettes, right. because they're making money off of your death. Right. Stop doing the drugs. If you wouldn't do the drugs, they wouldn't have no, re no need for a rehabilitation center. Right. Because you know that your body, your temple belongs to the Lord. I'm not going to defile it. Right. Right. There would be no need for a uh, rehab, right. you understand? Right. There would be no need for the cigarillos that we smoke, right. the marijuana water that they trying to say that's legal we you not and listen weed is not lawful in the eyesight of god it's a sin right, right. your lungs are made for air right. not smoke right god said he made the herbs for the ground right. and it's illegal to do it if you are not if you don't have a purpose for it right. you're just trying to get high right. the most high god said be sober minded Y'all right. want to just get high and forget about the oppressions of life. Give me some rock. I mean, Ecclesiastes 7 to 7. Brother, you know what? I see it boiling in you right now. You're supposed to be mad. You're supposed to be mad. Why? Because you're wise. You're wise of the environment that you're in. How old are you? Huh? You ain't even 21 yet. You ain't even reached the number of the mark where they say a black man might not live that long. You understand what I'm saying to me? You understand what I'm saying to you? You ain't even reached that, that, that age limit yet. You 18 years old and now you know you're the son of God. But you gotta act like it, bro. I'm telling you. There's a lot of evil in your path as you as you growing up. You gotta learn how to gird up your loins like a man. You understand? Pull your pants up. Put, if you got drugs or girls in your mind, get them out until you uh, get the drugs out your mind and the weed and stuff. And the women get out your mind because it's all distraction. Women, The woman will bring you death. I ain't saying because I'm married. What I'm saying is, listen, 
at a certain age, a man starts to seek a woman right. because he can. Right. You gotta have a job, brother. Right. You gotta be responsible. Right. First, you gotta take care of yourself. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Read this scripture real quick. Come on. Ecclesiastes 7 7. Surely oppression make it a wise man mad. The Bible says, Surely oppression make a wise man mad. You understand? Why are you mad? Because of the, you see the conditions of your people. What's up? You gotta go? Okay, hold on. Oh, go. Read on. Come on. Surely oppression make it a wise man mad. Surely oppression make a wise man mad. And what else? Come on. And a gift destroyed the heart. The Bible says a gift will destroy you. Because listen, I'm, this is the gift that I'm, I'm showing you. BET civil rights is a gift that destroyed us. It, us. it made us assimilate. It made you forget about slavery. When we started picking up the football and the basketball and the baseball, when they started to allow us to be a part of their society, that was the gift that destroyed our minds of us being in oppression. Because you don't even know that you're in oppression, but I can see it on you. And you we are oppressed as a people. Because we love to see BET. We love the sports. We love to go and work for their nine to fives. And that's the gift that they give the children of God so that they can forget about the oppression that they put us through. Right. Whenever you talk about slavery, they say, hey, listen, I'm sorry, bud, but, uh, you know, uh, we, this is a touchy situation. But when they talk about the atrocities, what happened in their history, like 16, uh, uh, September 11, they still talking about that today. Like what happened way before they, 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 they talk about the wars that they had back then. That's history. So why is it sensitive when we talk about our history? Right. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. Titus 2 and 7, and I'm going to let you go about your conversation real quick. We're trying to, we, we, the Lord, listen, your people need you. Brother, listen, I need you to get yourself right. right. And the Lord is calling you. Yeah, because if you get yourself right and you show yourself a good example of being a good, responsible, holy godly young man and the next brother that you know see that guess what they're gonna know hold on this ain't no uh this ain't no uh islam this ain't no muslim this ain't no Martin Luther king movement this is ordained of god right. i'm supposed to be like this right. this is how i was supposed to be right. and it's a much higher power because they killed Martin Luther king didn't yeah. they they killed malcolm x right. they destroyed marcus garvey right. all these leaders uh they made all of our supposed leaders to be um, like Al Sharpton and all these Jesse Jackson. They made them assimilate and don't call or speak about the affairs that we're going through. And when they do speak about it, they pacify us. Right. Don't be fooled by that. That's right. all set up by your enemy to deceive you. Right. It's a gift. You right. understand? So what, 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 what we have to be back into the mind state of is knowing who you are. Because if you know who you are, you know how to, you have some act right. right. Read this verse real quick. Titus 2 verse 6. Young men. What? Young men. What? Young men. The Lord is talking to you, bro. What did he say about the young man? Because why? You are the next generation. Right, right. 18 years old. You are the next generation. Right. You are the next representative of a so-called black man on the earth. That's right. Are you going to live your life being an example of a Negro that they got on TV rested somewhere? Or are you going to be that powerful, godly soul that the Lord created you to be? Right. Choose the life or death today. Choose life or death today. Which one you gonna choose? Because you prove it to God in your actions. In your actions. Read on, come on. Young men, likewise, exhort to be sober-minded. You have to exhort to be sober-minded. Because the norm today is to be high and be drunk and be unclear-minded. But you have to exhort to be sober-minded, which means what? You have to bring back the acknowledgement and the power that you are an Israelite. Right. Exhort to be sober-minded. Hold what you got. Let me get Ecclesiastes where it says uh, 10 and 7. Sin is held in great uh, dignity. Look about it. You in school? I know you in high school. You better be in school. You in school? Okay, good. Check this out. In high school, the main brother that get the props and all the popularity is the brother that's probably selling drugs. Right. Probably the dope man. Right. Wearing his pants down low. Can probably rap. Right. Live a fake thug life, right? Or the football players, right? Check this out. Let's, just, let's see what the Bible say about those people. Read. Come on. Ecclesiastes 10 verse 6. Folly. What? Folly. The word folly means sin. I know you got to go, but just hold on for a little bit. Grandma going to be all right, all right? I pray she all right. After this, call in check, okay? But it says folly is sin. What is folly? Come on. Folly is set in great dignity. 
Falling here in America, especially in our black community, is set in great dignity. Right. Meaning, to be dignified means glorified, right. honored, right? Sin is honorable to our people, which is evil as hell. You understand? Yeah. Because the dope man get the accolades and the glory. While the brother that got glasses, he the nerd, he doing all the computer stuff, he don't get no honor or glory. Why? Because he's not doing, to, to the world, he's not, he's nothing. You understand what I'm saying? That's the mentality that we live in. Yeah. But go back to that in Titus. The Lord said exhort to be sober minded you got to prove that yes i'm a son of god with my fringes on which are these right here this is my heritage right. and i'm greater right. than a damn dope boy right. i'm greater than a damn uh uh little wayne right. and drake talking right. about this foolishness and that's why we listen to the music we listen to what you listen to right now what you got on what you bumping to Okay, all of that, right? All of those things are held in great dignity, and it's sin. You understand what I'm saying? Sin is held in great applause here in America. Right. That's why people love negativity. They hate the positivity of this Bible. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So it's a hard thing for you to do what's right. It's easy to do what's wrong. Right. A son of God don't have that type of mentality. Right. A prophet don't have that type of right. mentality. A servant of the Lord don't have that type of mentality. Right. We don't care about what no, none of the world say. Right. Right. The word is broad. They hated Christ, and they're going to hate us too. Right. You got to have that mentality. You understand what I'm saying? And worship God in your actions. Right. That's how you worship God. What did it say about a young man? Read. Titus 2 verse 6. Uh -huh. Young men. That's you. 18. Read. Likewise, exhort to be sober-minded. Exhort to be sober-minded. Every day of your life, you live and you learn more and more about your true history. Right. Not the history that the white man gave you. You know what you do? Yeah. You, you speak it out loud. You can do this right here. You can do it when you go home. You can do it when you go to school. Telling people what? We ain't niggas no more. Right. We ain't black no more. Right. We the Israelites. Anyway, what I'm trying to express to you is that this knowledge is getting out there. Right. You understand? I ain't black no more. I'm an Israelite. Bro, people are getting to know that knowledge that we are the true people of God. You got to come to them terms, all right? Read on. Come on. In all things, showing thyself a pattern of good work. In all things, showing thyself a pattern of good works. Because if you have good works, the Lord is going to have honor upon you. He's going to have mercy upon you. And he's going to protect you. And all that, that, that deaf angel or all that evil that was set in your path because of the music, because of the people that you may know, because of the actions that you do, he's going to forgive you because now you repented and he's going to protect you right. and make your path straight. Right. That's how you have power in these last days. Right. You understand? One more scripture. Second Chronicles chapter 30 verse 8 real quick. You want to have power? You want to have a, 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 a jab back at these people that kill us as a nation or set us down at the bottom, bottom while we the last ones hired and the first ones fired? You want to have... Uh, you want to have a revolution? You want to have change in your community? It starts with you. Yes, right. And that's the terms that a lot of older men of, of our nation are not coming to the terms to. Right. They had a million man march. And all them men went right back to the dope. Right. right back to the drugs, right back to the politics, to the sports, right, right back to the Christian church. Right. We don't go to church. This is the church. Right. You are the church. Right. But we're going to teach the church, we're going to teach the word in the church in truth. Right. We don't need to go to the pastor right. because you are the pastor right. when you learn this word. Right. He's going to fill you with this truth, but right. you got to listen to all those that speak the truth. Right. Imagine the story. The Lord said this. He said this. Uh, uh, imagine that and these Christian churches, the Lord, I'm going to tell you what this world is right now. The Lord has painted this big picture. He said the pastor, Creflo Dollar, Joel Osteen in these big churches. And he's giving people the illusion that they are godly. Meanwhile, the spirit of truth is right up in here. Right in a corner. Right as mechanic workers. People that do mechanic workers. You have a job? Okay, uh, people that know the truth, they work at McDonald's or run gas stations, you understand, or wash cars, but they know the truth, that they, who they really are. That's the life, that's the program that God has created in these last days. You understand? Wisdom is set in foolish places, meaning us. We are considered foolish on the world, but the Lord don't deal with the, the high-minded and the, um, the ones that think they have um, wisdom above everybody else. You understand what I'm saying? You get what I'm trying to say? You understand that analogy I was trying to bring out? Okay, here, read this real quick. Come on. Second Chronicles chapter 30, verse 8. You want to have power? Here go the instructions. Read. Come on. Now, be not stiff-necked. Don't be stiff-necked, which means what? 
Don't be flex. Don't make your mind unflexible to God's word. You got to listen to God's word. If you want salvation, if you want to fix the issues in your life, he go to God's and the instructions right here. Hey, brother, how you doing? You listening up? Well, real quick, we want to make sure we're talking to the children. Of Israel. What's your nationality? Jamaican. Okay, you are of the tribe of Benjamin. That's right. Benjamin. You are a son of God. Both of you are. We That's are people right. of God. You right. understand? According to the Bible. Not everybody. Right. But I'm going to express that a little later on, all right? Read on. Come on. Now be ye nuts. This is how we have power over the oppression that we serve. Read. Now be ye nuts, stiff neck, as your fathers were. Our forefathers were stiff neck, which is why we're in the position that we're in right now. We sin against God, so the children have to reap the percussions of their stiff neckness. You understand what I'm saying? Read on. Come on. But you, yourselves. So we're breaking that curse that we was in. That's how you break the curse. But do what? But yield yourself. But yield, meaning humble yourself. Submit yourself, brother. Submit your actions. Pray to your God in truth. You understand? Admit your faults. You know you was wrong. Everybody. of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.